so this is okay so now we are going to discuss about the react memo okay what is this react memo first we will see what is the problem and we will see what is the use of this memo and what is the problem it is going to solve out let us see first okay so now here there is a login component is there okay inside the login component uh, how many properties we are having it uh, two properties because we are having a one form login form one is a username another is a password okay so whenever we are clicking this login button so we are calling like a submit function and we are doing some validation that is okay so but now what we want to do whenever we are typing it i want to display this data in my child in my child not in the parent okay so for this purpose what i am what i have done i have created one simple react component nothing but a component one okay see here nothing is a simple props okay so i am writing one console dot log statement for printing purpose and here i am printing a username props dot username where is this username is available in the login component okay that is okay and i have written another component in this component i am writing a another property what is that property password okay clear right so mainly i have a two properties i am going to print one in the first child i am going to print in the second child okay clear very very important and now i want to print that property so if you want to use in the child first i need to uh, use the, the child right i will say component one component one okay so what is my component one name component one and let us write it here and what is the property it is expecting username something like this okay let us try it so first i have written a username and this username i am printing in the child let us try to see here and go to app.js and let us remove all these demo childs okay and let us uncomment this one so if you go to here so this is a component one and uh, this is a and username and password is there let us see here i am going to type a b c d see the child data is printing it or not so we are able to pass data from the parent to child and if you see the important point whenever i am typing a and automatically the data is changing here right whenever i am typing a b c d automatically in the child component automatically it is uh, loading the data right okay so what is this meaning is whenever you have any change in the parent component okay so where is my change in the property in this property i am having it right so whenever you are going to type something you are going to set that value in the set username whenever you are changing any value in the use state variable this component will re-render okay whenever this component is re-rendering you are passing the state variable into where uh, your child component okay so this is a state variable the right side whatever the name is, is a state variable and left side whatever this username is this is a props okay there is an interview question what is the difference between props and uh, state state what is the use of state uh, whenever we want to track the changes we will use a state and what is the use of props uh, when we want to send them some data from parent to child we will use a props okay now here in the left side i am writing a property right side i am using a state so whenever there is any change any change small one change also automatically that change will trigger to the child whenever there is any property change here any single property change what react will do it will identify okay there is a property change automatically this will re-render re-render means it will execute again from top to bottom okay whenever it is executing top to bottom what what it will print it will print a component one and properties and it is going to return the latest value so for this proof now let us try to understand right side let us clear first time so whenever we are creating first time see component one and username is coming where is this output is coming it is this output is coming from where in the child component that means whenever we have initialized why two times it is coming first it is done for one time password and second time for the username two times there is a state variable change right that is the reason two times it is coming that is okay now i am going to type very interesting a whenever i am typing a so the data is changed or not b c when you type it whenever you are typing it so now the variable is changing it or not yes that is perfectly fine because this component is binding with which variable username only 
okay let us have one interesting fact here i am not going to touch anything in the username i am going to touch the password okay suppose i will type my password okay my password if you if you understand here i am not using that password at all in the component one am i using the component one not at all correct right i am depending on only which which property first property username only but here whenever i am typing second property also my first component is getting re executed re executed means it will execute from top to bottom internally there will be performance correct right even though it is not required it is reloading our page or not okay so this is the performance problem first you understood the problem right okay so let us have a second component also so for a demo let us go to the second component also so i am going to write my second component how to write a second component component 2 okay so let us write a what is the name i want to do it a password is equal to password something like this okay now what is this meaning i am passing my password also to the second child so for a demo what is the use case here is and let us problem with the component two. let us import this component two. okay let us write it component two go here and put it okay and two and this is from the two file okay so now i have imported two components and let us reload the data again okay so now first understand the problem so this is a component one is reloading and component two also reloading so i am going to type the username a b c d it is not related to component b at all component two at all correct right it need to track only password why it need to track the username not at all required but still it is reloading okay this is the performance problem suppose you are writing very big form in the like whenever you are doing any small change in the parent your entire big form is reloading the data or not it will take some time that is the reason you want to avoid such situation first you understood the problem right whenever i am typing username i am expecting only component one to reload not the component two because this username is not at all using in the component two component should reflect to only reflect whenever there is a change in the password not in the username okay to solve this problem we are going for a solution called react.memo okay so what is the problem here there is a re-rendering re-rendering right to solve this problem only we are going for a react memo so this memo will be used in the functions to optimize the re-rendering process we know that re-rendering right every time it is executing from that function so how will you use it simple whenever we are exporting it right uh, before exporting we are going to use a react data memo let us apply for password and uh, then we'll see the difference first let us go to component two so wherever you are writing this default export is there right uh, go here and write like a react dot what is the function ma memo okay and i am going to import like this okay so after if this react is not imported please import it from the react library okay so now i am saying react dot memo of component two what it is going to see let us have some differences okay so this time i am clearing here i am going to type a see what is the output it is changing a uh, only component one i am going to type type see what is the component uh, only component one is coming component two is not at all re-rendering now so now you have fixed the problem or not uh, how are you fixing your problem re-rendering using the react dot memo First, you need to identify the problem, then you need to solve it, okay? So, whenever you are taking, in the parent, you have two properties, uh, but second component is dependent on the only one property, not on the first property. First property, first component is depending on only one another property. But whenever there is any property change in the parent, automatically this is a reloading. I don't want this reloading process. To stop this reloading process, what is the technique we are using? A React data memo. Let us apply same technique for first one also, and we can see the difference let's go to uh, how to apply it here i will say here react dot uh, what is the component name memo okay i will add into the brackets here okay and please import this react from the react library okay file save all let's go and check the reload the page okay so by default i'm going to reload it so first time it is reloaded okay let us track afterwards i'm typing a 
So which component is executing only one component? I will type the B. Which component is executing only B, not the first one? Okay. So you can solve this problem using this technique here. Man. Okay. So this is nothing but a React data mem. Okay. We can use it right uh, whenever there is a re-rendering re -rendering process, uh, we can avoid using like this. So this is nothing but uh, achieving the performance improvement using the React data memo okay and same thing same thing we can use another another is called use memo there is another hook called use memo so now same problem only okay and we want to solve this problem using the second way i am going to solve this problem using the second way let us try to do this one i'll go to my second component let us have a first component using the react memo let us go to the second component Okay, here I am not going to use any memo component. Let me remove it here. Okay, so let and even we can have a combination also. No problem. Let us have it first. Now we are going to use a one hook. What is the hook we want to use it? Uh, use memo. Okay, what is this use memo will do is it will whenever we want to do any calculations or any execution something only whenever there is any change in the property then we can go for this property okay we don't want to execute always we want to execute some component whenever there is any change in particular property okay that is the reason we are going for a use memo okay it will return one value that value is nothing but a catched value so if there is no change, automatically it will return that value. If there is a change, it will return a new value and will return it. Okay. So, but in our case, what we want to do, we want to execute this code. When we want to execute this code, only if props that password is changed. Otherwise, we don't want to write this code at all. This is a simple code, but we are going to think like we are going to write 100 lines of code. Or like we are writing some complex logic, calculation, something like this. Okay. So something. Now I am going to do like a, uh, what is the hook we are going to use it? Uh, use memo. Okay. So there is a use memo. So inside the use memo, it is going to take a two arguments. Okay. It is going to take a two arguments. This use memo is going to take a two arguments. First one is nothing but a ESX function. Okay. Clear. And second one is nothing but one array. In the array, you need to give like a based on which property you want to track your changes. As part of our example, which property you want to track my changes? Uh, password. Suppose sometimes you want to calculate, suppose you will get one user ID. Whenever there is a user ID changing, you want to track those changes. Then you can go for a something like this. Let us go for here password. Okay. Uh, let us go for uh, props dot password. Okay. Which logic I want to execute to at the time only? this logic okay so now what i'm going to do here i'm going to write like a return i'm going to do like this okay you can return any javascript object this is a jsx syntax only right so you can return anything like this okay so whenever you are returning any value i can store that value here i can say like a uh, contain uh, container something is equal to something okay so here i am returning some value right so whatever the value i am returning i am going to return directly like this return container simply whatever it is there don't use any tag nothing whatever your variable name is there simply write like this that's all okay and whatever this console is there right this console i am going to use inside the use memo for demo purpose so now what is our purpose is whenever there is a property change that time only this line should come in other times it should not be coming it let us save it okay and let us reload the page again so by default it is coming one and two that is fine i'll type a see is there one two is coming or not no two is not coming only one is coming okay this time i'll type a okay and see second component is executing or not yes and again type a second coming okay something whenever you want to track the changes and you want to execute some code so that code we can use it using the this here okay this is a sample only we are not going to directly always we are not going to return this uh, html sometimes we are going to create a normal object uh, we will do all the things this is a simple demo for like how to stop this uh, re-rendering it okay and you can use this uh, both the techniques also you can apply the same thing also react data memo and you can write like a this one also so this first level will try to track the, is there any props changes, any property changes. It will not uh, directly, it will not go for only prop password. 
this react memo will look for any property change if any one property changes it will re-execute it if no property change it will not uh, re-executing the component so let us use it uh, we are using a uh, two two things okay so i'll type a okay i will type here okay only whenever we are typing the second one the second one is a coming okay something like this you can improve your component performance uh, and that is nothing but a use memo but you need to understand whenever any state variable changes in the parent uh, automatically our child component re-executing it or not uh, sometimes they will ask in interview i am changing one variable in my parent how child will know that okay whenever any property change is there automatically child will re-trigger whenever child is re-triggering you are going to get a latest output so there is no problem okay your props you are going to get a latest output so this nothing is this is nothing about the about the use memo and use like react data memo okay 